message came from the internet. All right, Brandy, what's the story? What's going on? What are we doing? Well, there's a woman from Fulton, New York, who is seeking donations to help remove something from her forehead. She created a GoFundMe campaign in January to raise money for a tattoo to be removed from her forehead. Which, you know, sometimes you have uh, bad decisions and you need to have them taken care of, right? Exactly. The tattoo um, from Tabitha West, that's the young lady's name, uh, reads 420. Which right, is in, right in the forehead. Right in the middle of her forehead. Smack dab centrally located on the face. So for those who are unaware, uh, 420 is a common reference to marijuana. And also, welcome to 2016. It's clearly been a long time that you've been uh, out of it under that rock that you've been under, and we're happy to have you. We can't wait to introduce you to things like the internet as well. Stop. A message on her GoFundMe page reads, I am wanting money to get the tattoo off I'm going to read it exactly as she wrote it. Oh, okay? I'm sure this is going to be a, a Pulitzer Prize winning entry I am wanty dot G question mark, uh, excuse me, dollar sign, to get that tattoo off my four space head. I want to have a better start out in life and have a second chance at life. Please help me. I was young in just the word in, excuse me, letter in dumb when I got that I'm older, one looking for a job, can't get out, and people calling me a druggie every day of my life. Huh. And being called 420 is not nice, and I almost <laughs> killed myself over it. Oh, I can't laugh now. Yeah, you can't, totally. Can't stand to look at my face anymore. Save a life, save me, invest in me. I will show you I can better with my life. Thank you. As so far, she set a goal of $800 as of yesterday. She got $1,000, or she has already raised $1,000. You know, it's hard to get things entirely gone. I, like, it's my understanding that in most cases, when it comes to getting tattoos off of you, the best course of action is to just get the treatments to lighten it to the point where it can kind of get blasted over by something that isn't, you know, drug or white supremacist or prison-related or whatever offensive thing you've got on you. You know, um, hmm. What? The, you know... The the whole thing is uh, is weird. I I would not mean? help this person. Okay, why not? Because to me, it's like this. You know. Okay, how about this? You watch Bar Rescue, right? Mm -hmm. And they go in, and John Taffer, you know, goes and helps them out and tries to fix them. Or Kitchen Nightmares with Gordon Ramsay, he goes in and he sees their bad ideas and bad habits and tries to fix them. But and I know that those shows are kind of gross out outrage porn and they need to be as gross as possible. But I would rather John Taffer go to fix bars that are run really well but don't have a solid marketing plan or people unfamiliar with them or something like that. Like this person, you got a tattoo on your forehead. Mm -hmm. I feel like we could probably take the money that would give you a new start in life and give it to somebody who, uh, you know, maybe can't afford a nice suit to go on job interviews. And that's why they can't get a new start in life. I don't trust this person with uh, the $800 any more than I trust that John Taffer fixed somebody's life. And, they, well, all of a sudden, now that there's a, a whole bunch of guitars John Taffer just put on the wall, or how many cute airline pilot uniforms he puts the waitresses in, you still let that bag of frozen jalapeno poppers get filled with rat feces to begin with. So you're probably going to do it again. I don't trust your judgment at all. So, you know, polishing up is still not going to fix the inherent problem. If you're inclined to get 420 tattooed on your forehead in the first place, not really confident in your ability to make any decisions in the right way going forward.